Well, I was interested in, in, in science, actually, and decided to go into medicine as an area of science that could do some good. And I started out um, in the area of internal medicine, uh, seeing patients, something I liked, got involved in, in setting up and working in some of the first um, community health uh, um, type projects and enjoyed that, but wanted to expand into public health. And um, after I did my residency, I went to the Centers for Disease Control and did infectious disease work. And um, uh, after that, I went to Massachusetts and worked in the state health department to understand how things worked at the state. And there I was going to settle down and do some teaching and, and work in the state. But um, uh, President Carter and, and uh, the Task Force for Child Survival um, asked me if I would go to Uganda to help uh, President Museveni, who had just um, taken over, uh, to try to rebuild the health system of Uganda, which was an absolute tattered mess after 15 years of kind of craziness. And um, it was an amazing opportunity to go do it. I took a look at it. I did not go to do AIDS, but uh, when I was there, uh, of course, I started asking questions like, what's the male-female ratio of, you know, cases so far, what's the age distribution, simple things, and people had looked at that, so I began to look at it, and, and then uh, we um, set up the first surveillance system for AIDS, and, and, and my moment, you know, my epiphany came when we did a, a serosurvey, survey, a, a survey of the population, random, and took blood and looked to see whether people are HIV positive, and the numbers came back, and I said to my girlfriend who's doing the analysis, I said, this can't be right. I mean, you've, you've made a decimal place error. And she said, I think it's right. And went to the lab people and said, the lab test doesn't work. And of course it did. And um, that was really what defined to me the magnitude of the problem, or at least the, you know, the, the iceberg part of the problem, the big you know, part under the water. And, and so at the end of that, I, um, I, I left, came back, and ran the health programs of the Rockefeller Foundation. And there, a group of people came to me, since this was my area of research, and said the AIDS vaccine effort is dead. And that's how I got involved in, in looking at and then starting on Abby. At that moment in time, uh, people perceive the AIDS epidemic as being bad, very bad. And, and it's interesting, because even now, the statistics you know, are much worse than they were perceived even at that moment. But, you know, the question was, you know, why was there not a vaccine? And when people first figured out that this was a virus, people said, we need a vaccine. That's how we deal with viral illnesses. And so it would have been the natural thing to do. In fact, there are predictions that they'd have a vaccine within a couple of years. Um, initially, um, it was turned out to be very difficult science challenge, and on top of that, there was a lot of pressure to try to develop drugs for this virus. Um, at that moment in time, we didn't know how to make drugs for viruses, but the activists, in a sense, they deserve the Nobel Prize. They pushed and said, you know, you've got to make money available, and you've got to drive science, and, and so that's what they did. So there was this intense push to get drugs, which is, by the way, why we have more drugs for HIV than all other viruses put together now, but the vaccine effort really dropped down. And, and there was not a lot of money, there was not a lot of attention, not a lot of activism, not a lot of focus on the needs of the developing world. And so uh, the question was, um, could we do something about that? And that was really the origin of, of the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative. The question was, should it be you know, a consortium of companies? Should it be a for-profit, not-for-profit? And since there had never been this type of product development initiative, we ended up having a lot of consultation and decided to create a uh, not-for-profit uh, product development public-private partnership. And the mission of the organization is to try to, you know, accelerate the development of, of, of an AIDS vaccine for use throughout the world. And the critical part of the mission statement is to ensure it. In other words, we don't have to be the ones to develop it. We just want to make sure it happens. Mm -hmm.